your Bibles this evening, I'm going to talk about the, the philosophy of the bike rim and the church. <laughs> Very interesting. It's no surprising. I love talking about biking. It, it, hopefully you don't ever get sick of it because it's really become part, it's not an idol, but it's become a something that I enjoy doing. You know, you talk about what you enjoy but it also becomes a reflection point. Um, when I was little, I used to collect shoestrings. My mom, my mom has a picture of me uh, dragging a box of shoestrings around with me as I was wearing a diaper, and, and I collected shoestrings. And, and it's a very funny little picture, and I'm sure that picture has gone far, far and away. No, it's probably still in that stupid photo album. But... Uh, <laughs> when you find something you really enjoy, you begin to think while you're writing. And today, uh, I started thinking about, uh, I'm going to save my sermon for next. So next Sunday night, I'll be pre preaching about the hand of God at Leroy. So I started thinking, okay, God, what would you like to speak into the life of us tonight? And Eric, on Wednesday, he mentioned 1 Corinthians 12. And so I, I started looking at him, and I started thinking about a bike rim. So I stole a bike rim off my bike. Mm -hmm. and, and I like my bike rim, and so now right now I can only do wheelies on my bike. Yeah. Very interesting, and I'll, I'll read the pastor's scripture, but I want you to think about the bike rim. Have you guys ever rode a bike before? I know some of you have, and... Mm -hmm. But the bike rim is a very intricate piece of machinery. It makes your bike move forward or backwards, however you go down, up and down a hill. But if you break one spoke, you, uh, you can't move. One spoke will mess you up. It will bend your rim. One spoke. But it's all connected to the hub. If, you, if the hub is bent, your whole rim's bent. And, it, and all these spokes are very important to the whole mechanical being of this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I was riding with Charlie one time, and it was our Christmas ride, and it was early in the morning. And Charlie decided that he, was gonna, he had a broken spoke, and he decided he's going to twist the other spoke within another spoke to get, so he could do the ride. Well, that didn't work out really well because that spoke came undone and broke another spoke. So now he had two broken spokes, and... In the midst of our ride, he had to, I had to call my wife and had him picked up while I finished the ride because I had no broken spokes. Because spokes are very important because it holds the rim together. So as we get into this, and I want to talk about the philosophy of the bicycle rim and the church. 1 Corinthians 12, starting with verse 1. And you'll get where I'm going with this as soon as we get through the whole thing. It's a long passage of scripture. And here's what it says. Now about the gifts of the Spirit, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagan, somehow or other, you were influenced and led astray to mute idols. Therefore, I want you to know that no one is speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus, be cursed, or no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit dis distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of workings, but in all of them, in every one, it, it's the same God at work. Now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. Right. Amen. To one there is the, given through the Spirit a message of wisdom, and another a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the, that one Spirit. To another miraculous powers, and to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and to Still another, the interpretation of tongues. All these, the working of one and the same spirit, he distributes them to each one just as he determines. Just as a body, though one has many parts, but it all, 
at all in many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. Right. Stay in that one. Go back to that one, and we'll, we're going to continue on. Just Talked about all these different gifts, right? The philosophy of the bicycle room. We have all these different gifts, but one spirit, one God. God gives them, but it's all connected to one place, right? Mm -hmm. Go back up to the gifts, Joel. So you got the message of wisdom. Okay, they're different kinds. Spirit, you love how I say disputes, I know. They're kinds of service, the same Lord. So it's, it goes to the same place, right? It's the same hub. Think the hub, right? Yes. All right, go on. There are different kinds of working, but all of them in the same, everyone in it, the same God at work. Okay. Some are given through the spirit of wisdom and another message of knowledge by the means of the same spirit. Okay. To another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by that same, this, that one spirit. To another marks powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits and another speaking in different kinds of tongues and to another Interpreting tongues. Stop right there. All connected to the hub. Yes. See, we get all confused that we all make this very difficult to understand this, these gifts. It's all connected to the hub. All these gifts connected to the same spirit, same, same God. We have to understand if we're not connected, those things don't work. Do you understand? So, let's continue. All these work at work of one in the same spirit, and he distributes them to each one just as he determines. Just as the bodies through the one, many parts, but one, all of its many parts, one body, so it is with Christ. Okay, we can continue. For we are all baptized by one spirit so that as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all get given this, the one spirit to drink. Amen. Even so, the body is made up of one part, but of many. Stop right there. This is a wheel. I buy a wheel. I buy a rim. It has to be put together by the company, but it, I buy a wheel. I buy a rim. If I break a, a, a spoke, they have to fix that one spoke, but it become, this is considered one rim, right? Mm -hmm. But they're all very important. Each part of this, and we're going to get into this, it's all important, but it all connects to the hub. There's got to be a purpose. You just don't want to go put this on your car because it won't do anything for you, right? This will not do anything for your car, but it will do everything for my bike that's sitting in the garage without a front wheel on it. Right? right? So the very fact is that there's a reason the philosophy of the bicycle rim is it's all connected to the hub. Are you getting me yet? Yes. Are we, are we in the same page? Are you mm -hmm. c c connecting with my weird thinking? Tonight? Yes. All right, continue. Now, if the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would be not for that reason stop being part of the body. As if the ear would say, because I am not the eye, do not belong to the body, it would be not for the reason to stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted to be. If they were all part of one part, where would the body be? Mm -hmm. As it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the hand cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. One, on the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. Yeah. And the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. While our presentable parts need no special treatment, 
But God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the parts that lack it. So that there should be no division in the body, but that, that its parts should be equal, have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers. With it, the one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is part of it. And God has a place in the church, first for the apostles, second for the prophets, third to the teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healings and helping, and guidance in different kinds of tongues. All, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all the work miracles, do all have the gifts of healing, do all speak in tongues, do all interpret? Now eagerly desire the greater gifts, and yet I, have, I will show you the most excellent way. body of Christ yep. the philosophy of the rim mm -hmm. if I break a spoke my wheel stops to work the church you are the faithful ones on Sunday night thank you but we work together mm -hmm. we spin together we move forward together if one is broken we try to fix that together. No part is greater. The pastor is not greater than those that sit out here. I am not greater than you. My wife is not greater than you. The board is not greater than you. We have different levels of responsibility because the Lord will keep us <laughs> humble. <laughs> but the very fact is this. We're all connected to the hub. We are all connected to the hub. His name is Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. The very fact is, as we work together, as we continue to work together, if we break and we fall apart and disunity happens, then we're broken. We're like the churches. And... and all around the world that are falling apart and they're not spinning anywhere. I love our church. And I feel that it's very important that the philosophy of the rim is very important and the philosophy of the body of Christ is very important for us is that we are all important. There is no one more important than the other. No matter what age they are, we are very important to one another. God has a plan and a purpose. For each one of us, from the youngest to the oldest. And God can use any one of us, but we have to be willing to be used. And how awesome is that? If we'd say, God, I want to be spoke number one. If that means cleaning the toilets, I'll do it. You already got that job. <laughs> if that means whatever you know pick it if it means you just choose there there are so many different jobs but maybe maybe it's feeding the hungry or or maybe it's you know eventually one day it's going to be parking a car or mowing a grass or maybe helping out an elderly lady who can't change her oil anymore. Who knows what that will be? Are you ready for that? Are you, if we're connected to the hub as a unified body? I love it. The, the, the statistics say that 80% of the work is done by 20% of the people. Right here in front of us is 20% of the people. And I can honestly say that 20% of the people is right here that has literally picked up most of the work. And I know the pe some of the people that work very hard aren't here tonight, but uh, I can speak of the, those that are here right here that this literally has picked up a lot of the work and continue to do so. And I'm, I thank you. But I'm, I hate to say it. Though you do a lot of work, you're not as important as anybody else. We all work together, amen? 
And again, I'm not as in, more important than you. I love what I do, but the very fact is that I'm one of these folks just like the rest of you. And you know the very fact is I could be broken just like one of these folks. Just like you. And if we come alongside of each other and help to fix one another, there might be a moment that I need the church to come alongside me because I'm broken. Or maybe Carrie. Or maybe Vo, maybe Julie, maybe Marilyn, maybe Joe, maybe Rob or Nancy or Vicki or Lyndon or Jaden. You think about it. Put your name on it. There's enough. Right here, this would be our church. We could put people's names on this. And I was thinking about that because when you're spinning around, what distracts is when you have a flat tire because you stop moving. And sometimes the church has a flat tire because this something happens, a dysfunction happens in the church because we allow the devil comes to, to deflate an issue. And we need help to fix that problem and we pray and we have a prayer meeting we let God and we reconnect to the hub and we let God and the Holy Spirit and the Trinity work amen, amen. Yes. and I'll tell you I knew this wasn't going to be a very long night yes. but I wanted to encourage you that if we stay connected to the hub or we stay connected to Jesus and God's purpose is at play we'll see God do great things yes. in our church yes. And God will do great things through you. But we have to stay continually attached to the hub. But on the other side of this, it's called a break. That break is very important as well. Because though we want everything to go like this, sometimes we've got to stop and wait. And be patient. Mm -hmm. And some of you have been waiting patiently for a long time. Some of you have been waiting 20 plus years for this new church to be built. Mm -hmm. Day one when I first came here I heard, hey we need to build a new church. <laughs> 11 and a half years you're still waiting for the new church to be built but the new church is actually, we're seeing the direction. But sometimes we just have to slow down and just say, God, your plan, your way, your purpose is perfect in ours. Yeah. 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 But the break's important too. The philosophy of the rim, you might have to have, we got all this and we got the hub, but the break is just as important because sometimes you got to stop and slow down and you have to wait upon the Lord for he will renew your strength because when you're weak, he is strong. Yes. When you feel like you can't make it, you got to put the break on. Because God has this. If you don't have the hub, all you have is a rim which is bent and broken and spokes going every which way and a lot of injuries. And I've seen that happen in races where a person breaks the spokes and they bend their rim and they, have, they fall off and they're all beat up and they have to carry their bike down the road because two things they have a cheap rim and they didn't put the right stuff into it we need to put the right stuff into it it's called prayer faith believing God for great things amen, amen. amen. alright let's pray Lord thank you thank you for this devotional Thank you for this word. Thank you for this challenge. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for this church. Thank you for allowing us to connect to the hub. The center of our life. We love you and we praise you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Amen.